In this era of short life expectancy and death soaring among the youth, it is rare to see a Nigerian living up to the age of 100 with all the five senses still intact. We grew up to know Baba as an embodiment of honesty, as a role model. In fact, you will want to be with him all the time because you will learn one or two things. It is amazing to tell you that even at his age, when you go visiting, Baba will reel out dates of events, time of events that I cannot even comprehend. 100 days celebrating Baba is not a joke. Baba is an icon. Baba has given an exemplary life that every one of us are trying to emulate. Baba do riri, abati mo vito to wo daru ko mo je ko no loye won mo je ko no mo won. Baba dada, baba to je yipe o ma nko wa ni re pe le, iwa re le. O wa nche wa su to da fun wa. Baba riri, baba dada, baba lubarika. Gbogbo omo no omo baba. Gbogbo en to ba tin kirun to tin se, to tin se esin. O ti de omo baba. Lagos to still on Wednesday 10th of August when the drums rolled out to celebrate an enigma, cerebral, deeply religious and highly contented man, Sheikh Abla Hafiz Abu OFR. Let us share our past interaction with him when he lost his bosom friend, Al-Haji Amosa Otiti. <laughs> Who is Sheikh Abo, who is also the Baba Adini of Lagos, is well-grounded root in Islam informed the exemplary life he lived with absolute service to humanity and mankind. Treading the path of the Din, born in Ita Akoni area of Lagos on Monday 10th, August 1922, to Imam Tijani Abu Bakar and al Aja Nusrat Abo, both from well-grounded Muslim home. He began his formal education in Lagos Government Muslim School, built by the government in partnership with Lagos Muslim community in order to provide Western Com Islamic education to young Muslim children who had shunned Christian-sponsored education for fear of conversion. His Islamic foundation further blossomed in 1939 when he moved to Ansarudin Primary School at Alakoro, founded in 1929. Hence, he consolidated his Islamic brilliance as his academic, religious, moral and spiritual life were clearly laid out. In the quest for more Islamic knowledge, Sheikh Abu proceeded for his higher education at the prestigious and most ancient center of learning, Al-Azhar University in Cairo, Egypt. He graduated in 1958 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Arabic and Islamic Studies and also obtained a licensure in Islamic law same year. In Cairo, he distinguished himself attending a lot of international conferences while interacting with highly rated government officials, including President Jamal Abdel Nasser and Vice President Abdul Hakim Hamir. He also had the privilege of attending the meeting of the first International Muslim Youth Assembly held in Karachi, Pakistan in 1955. Elijah Abu is one of my own big brothers in Lagos. He's much older than I am, but we were looking up to them when we were young. But there was, he has some qualities that I think worth emulating. He is faith in God. He is very humble. He accepts whatever comes his way with dignity and graciously. The man was a special creature. Wonderful. At 100, he has control of all his organs. His words are always words of wisdom. I said in my writing, in other faith, Baba Afisabu will be canonized. He will be canonized. Well, it's a special creature that God has made use, useful to us. You cannot have a dull moment with him. Go to philosophy, go to education, go to government. I'll be quoting extensively from the Holy Quran. A gentleman. He's gentle in and out. Baba Dini is someone that everybody would like to get, to get contact with. He doesn't know who is poor, who is rich, who is not. He takes everybody as the same. A religious person, 
very godly. After so many years of sojourn in Cairo, Egypt, having acquired so much Islamic knowledge, he was poised to share that same knowledge with others as he took up the teaching appointment at Ansaruddin College in Solo on the 1st of January 1960. While there, he served different capacities from house masters, vice principal, acting vice principal, where he impacted Arabic and Islamic knowledge on several of his students, many of whom are of high status in the society. It was also the same year of 1960 that he formally joined the Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria, where he served in several capacities, including membership of the mission board. He started his career more or less as a teacher in the Ansaruddin Society, and he has always been with us up till today. And we have gained tremendously from his wealth of knowledge and wisdom. Baba is just a year older. He was just one year old when Anzaudi was uh, born. And uh, we are happy that uh, he's still alive. And by the grace of God, he will witness the centenary with us next year. Those that have done good in life, that Allah is going to reward them. This is part of what we're living witness to the day, to see from Baba. He has sacrificed a lot. He's an eminent scholar of... Islam and is highly revered in the Islamic faith in Africa. And uh, I've had a relationship with him in the past before I became a king. And uh, he's somebody who has so much respect. The centenarian we are talking about today is still very agile. Still very, he talks, you know. Freely, and he, when you, yeah, his voices are still strong. He remembers everything, and he's still very versatile in the Islamic religion, in the Quran, and so many things. Anything you want to talk to Allah alone, be alone. You can review any. As one of the founding fathers and pioneer missioner of Muslim Association of Nigeria, without pay for almost two decades, he went further to establish branches in different parts of the Federation. On the national front, Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu is again one of the founders of Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs in 1974, adding value as a member of the Fatullah Committee and National Sharia Committee. No gain saying the fact that he is also one of the brains behind the propagation of the unity of Muslim in the Southwest with the formation of Muslim. Allah has given him that health. He has a sound that good health. Allah has given him longevity of life. The memory is still there. It's a blessing of Allah. A Muslim scholar that everybody will want to associate with. The Muslims are pr very proud of him, and uh, he's number one. Not because he's a Baba Dini of Lagos. Even before he became Baba Dini of Lagos, he's an accessible somebody. He's a proud scholar that Muslims are proud to have. To further unite the increasing proliferation of the springing up of Islamic organizations, he gained maximum support to an umbrella body which later culminated to the name Muslim Community of Lagos State, MCLS. And he is the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the body that was registered in October 2012. This role he combines as the chairman of the management board of its postgraduate scholarship scheme. My relationship with uh, Sheikh, His Eminence Sheikh Hafiz Abu dates back to the 1960s. When I had the opportunity of meeting him, when I was a postgraduate student at the University of Ibadan, he came, he came with the setting new for an international seminar, and I was at that seminar. And since at that time, 1962, our relationship has widened and deepened, embracing both families, and we have interacted on so many issues. Up to today, I love Baba, and I'm reasonably close to him. The success of the Lagos Grand 2020 could not have been achieved without the full support of our erudite and vintage scholar. We are hosting this thing, and what the fight we take, it is our joy and glory to win. Baba's acumen and service to humanity was further felt in several other bodies. A foundation member of Muslim International School, Iwo, Kumos, since 1985. Member, Governing Council of Abubakar Tafara Balewa University, since 1983. Member, and Saradin College Governing Council. The creation of Lagos State is also credited to him, Baba Adini, Elias, and other prominent people.
Babasi killed some pilots from Egypt to fly Nigerian planes during the Nigerian Civil War, served as Imam Ikeoluwa Mox in Suruliri. A well-deserved title of Baba Adini of Lagos was conferred on him in August 14, 2009, in recognition of many decades of service to Allah, capping it with the National Honor of Order of the Federal Republic in September 2014. In the family front, Sheikh Abla Hafiz Abu is blessed with his lovely wife, Jamila, six children and several grandchildren who are doing very well in their various fields of endeavor. He's a wonderful father, great mentor, kind-hearted, and um, very loving. Is someone is a father that you know always wants the best for his children, grandchildren, and you know even to the extended families. He was in his early fifties when he gave birth to me. I've always known him as an elderly person. Let me say an old man. It wasn't easy growing up with him because he was a very strict person, and. Um, he taught me everything I know today, virtues, how to be a patient person, how to take care of others, how to not jump into conclusions when things happen. And I'm proud to have him as a father. I mean, I can't wish anything less. He lives a healthy you know, lifestyle. He is an athlete and he exercises like every day, even up till now. And he eats, you know, lots of fruits. So yeah, healthy lifestyle. No, no alcohol, drinking, no smoking, nothing of such. He's a very kind and happy man, and he's very benevolent. I'm really grateful that Granddad is achieving be 100 years old and being kind to him, celebrating his. His birthday. I did not know he was this old. I always thought he was just entering his 90s. It was only recently I learned. I think he's very, very, extremely healthy for his age. And that uh, I did not expect him to be as mobile as he is. The practice of Islam, I try to teach them in the way of uh, the Muslim, as the way I was taught, how to pray, how to read the Quran, how to respect people how not to be angry all the time, how to be calm and not be ruffled. Even if something has been done against you, you should find a way to see the other side. And if you don't, maybe discuss with someone else or you just try to calm yourself and then you can talk about it after. With his tremendous contribution to the development of the country, especially in the field of education, unity and cause of Islam, Lagos stood still to celebrate a centenary with the who is who, including the executive governor of Lagos State in attendance, being a deeply religious person who has been favored by Allah. It was therefore natural to start the day on a spiritual note. Dignitaries from all walks of life defied the busy art of Lagos to make their way to the Lagos Central Mosque on what was tagged a celebration of a centenarian, Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu. It indeed provided an opportunity for several people to identify with the sage. The roll call of who is who in the society is endless, from the deputy governor, Dr. Obafemi Kadiri Amza, to the former governor of Lagos State and the present minister of works and housing, Mr. Babatunde Raju Fashola, who represented President Buhari.
Reading from the Quran. Other highlights include Alimado. <laughs> Lectures were cerebral with a lot of lessons to take away. In the midst of the celebration, it still calls for sober reflection as it's afforded a special prayer session for the celebrants, the nation, Lagos states, and the departed. <laughs> were followed with goodwill messages and special offering. <laughs> Thank you. 
The climax of the spiritual session was the commissioning of a clinic at Lagos Central Mox, named and dedicated to our centenarian, Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu. Uh, 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 uh. To our father, who is celebrating 100 years today, and in view of that, he has done a lot of work that he should be remembered all the time. And in view of that, these people will be coming here to, to have health treatment. We dedicate this, month, this clinic to him. Baba is 100, 100 years, and I am the life for him. I wish him more new years to live in life. And with good health, he shall allow me to God. For the Imam, I wish them to look, at, look forward to what Baba is doing and copy Baba. While the prayer session was ongoing, the prestigious Arbor Point Event Center in Victoria Island was being prepared to host the guests for the reception of this great icon. It has been a long period of preparing and planning for this day, and it's also pleased Allah to make everyone witness it, including the centenarian. I am part of the planning. It is fantastic. It is fantabulous. Planning for this event has been very exciting because it is a great honor, a great opportunity to plan for the birthday of somebody whom Allah has favored and raised to this level of 100 years. A man who is complete with all his faculties at this advanced age. As guests gradually arrived for the celebration of life to commence in a modest way of the lifestyle of a celebrant. We're celebrating our grandfather's 100th birthday and that is a happy, happy day. It's an occasion for joy to rejoice with the venerable Highly respected, gentle Sheikh Afis Abu. We are happy that God has prolonged his life in good health. And despite he's um, being a centenarian, he is more agile than a good number of people who are half his age. A pre-event documentary adorned the big screen of tributes of young and old for Baba. The event started swiftly as Jibril Falami and Abdul Wahid Tella took charge as master of ceremony. After a few recognitions, our centenary was ushered in, flanked by family members, friends and mentees, as he was ushered to his seat, flanked by his wife and other dignitaries. So and he saw, he conquered, he came, he saw, and he conquered. Wala ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa. Ajia Jawi. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Subhanak Allahumma ya man azra al jamila. Wasataral Kobia, Walam Yuak is a Billy Jerira, Walam Yatiki Sitira, Ya Asi Mala Afui, Ya Asa Nata Jawusi, Ya Asi Almofera, Ya Basito Yadini Birama.
العزة لله ولرسوله وللمؤمنين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلع. The welcome address was delivered by no other than the vice chairman of Lagos Central Mocks Executive Council, Basharun Sikiru Alabi, McFoy. It took us down memory lane on the formation of the Lagos Central Mocks and the past Baba Adini of Lagos. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this event today. I am pleasantly delighted. The event of celebrating the centenary of our Reverend and eminent Islamic scholar, Sheikh Abdulafiz Abu Oefar, is the first in the history of Lagos Central Mosque since the introduction of Islam into Lagos by the Malians in the 17th century. This is why the Lagos Muslims are referred to as the Malay. Lagos Central Mosque administration is left in the hands of representatives from the four districts in Lagos Island. The Olobo district, Isaleko and Idumota district, Okofaji and Brazilian quarters, Pukwaguda. The leaders who are prominent and economically viable from the districts run the affairs of the mosque with the appointed chief imam. The leaders amongst themselves appoint a president, chairman, to lead the group known as the executive. Later, the president was changed to Baba Adini. Late Alaji Williams, Alaji Waidi Elias, was the father of the modern central mosque. He worked very hard to ensure that we have the present ultra-modern legal central mosque. He ensured that we acquire expansive land where the new Lagos Central Mosque was built. Before Sheikh Abdulafiz Abu became Baba Adini in 2009, he worked closely with Alaji Waidi Elias and Alaji Wabi Folawiyo since the time he returned from Cairo, Egypt, in the late 50s. Most importantly, we have learned that none of the Baba Adinis and other prominent Muslim leaders in Lagos lived up to 100 years. Sheikh has been steadfast in his contribution towards development of Islam in Lagos and Nigeria. Sheikh Abu began his formal education in Lagos Government Muslim School, a school that was built by the government in partnership with the Lagos Muslim community in order to provide Western Kum Islamic education to Muslim young boys and girls who had shunned Christian-sponsored education for fear of conversion. In 1939, he moved to Ansarudin Primary School at Alakuru, which was founded in 1929 and admitted its first set of students in 1931. He had a brilliant and happy career in the school, and the foundation of his academic, religious, moral, and spiritual life were clearly laid. The brief citation was followed with a major high point of the day, which was the delivery of a special lecture tagged the meaning of life and the purpose of our existence, with copious references to Surah to Nessa and quotes from Aristotle. Why are we here? What is the purpose of this life? What is the meaning? Who am I? Why am I on this plane of existence? Beloved brothers and sisters, our father's life, the celebrant's life is a celebration of Allah's omnipotence, of Allah's transcendental majesty. Two types of people populate this plane of existence, winners and losers. How does one become a winner? How does one become a loser? You don't become a loser simply because you are not from a rich family. You don't become a loser simply because you don't have the right education. There are times one is highly educated, one is actually born into an affluent family, and at the same time, he becomes a, a loser. And what is our definition of a winner and a loser? A winner is he 
who passes through this plane of existence and makes its mark. It does not matter how long you live. An Indian scholar once said, it is not compulsory for you to live for a hundred years. Just try to do something that will be remembered for a hundred years. But what happens in the, in, the, in the situation of a man who has lived for a hundred years and he has done things that will be remembered for a thousand years because he has raised generations. He has mentored. So how do you explain the fate of such a person? Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah in his infinite wisdom has given us a challenge, a question. He says, Do you think that we have created you in vain without a purpose? Do you think that your existence on earth is accidental? Do you think that we do not have a reason why we have created you. The most popular answer in the mouth of a Muslim will probably be Allah has created you for the sole purpose of worshipping him. And of course he has said that I have not created the king and man except that they should worship me. I have created them for the purpose of worship. But what is worship? Is it limited to the salat I observe? Is it limited to, this, to zakat, to fasting in the month of Ramadan, or performing Hajj? Don't forget these are just pillars of Islam. In the last verse of chapter 6 of the Quran, Surah Al-An'am, Almighty Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, huwa alladhi ja'ala kala'if al-ard, wa rafa'a ba'dakum fawqa ba'din darajatin li yabluwakum fi ma'atakum, inna rabbaka sari'u al-iqab, wa inna hu la ghafur ar-Rahim, Allah says, it is he who has created you, he has made you his vicegerents, his khalifas, his trustees, his representatives on earth. And he has exalted some of you above others in degrees. Not that he has made, he has made a mistake. It is for a purpose. To test you with what he has given you. So many youth have told me wonderful stories of their encounters with Baba, particularly in the area of education. An ardent lover of knowledge, it will always disturb you. When are you going further? You want to stay? Here? No, you cannot stay at this level. You continue to move. What is the problem? Is it money? Is it time? Is it that you're having a kind of problem? He was always there. And he has, I'm very sure he has even lost the count of the number of people he has assisted. May Almighty Allah continue to preserve him for us. Several goodwill messages were delivered which was rounded off with that of the executive governor. The seminar Sheikh Abu, I can tell you, is a man, a person made by Almighty Allah. And uh, today, Hello. we are celebrating his 100 years on earth. And by Islamic calendar, it's 103 years. And right from school, we have been in touch. We kept in touch because my late father, who happened to be his friend, handed me over to him in school. May the soul of my late father that handed me over to him rest in peace in Algeria, Fidelsi. And I felicitate with you, my father, His Eminence, Sheikh Afiz Abu, you have been blessed. And that blessing of Almighty Allah, which has been with you from birth, will continue to be with you to the end. We are all grateful to Almighty Allah for making every one of us here today to see this beautiful day celebrating the centenary 100 birthday with our Baba. We thank Almighty Allah for his beautiful life. Alhamdulillah. 
Baba is a person that everybody will want to know. He's a Baba of everybody. Baba doesn't discriminate. He takes everybody as one. Baba is a pride to the Muslim community. Alhamdulillah. We thank God we will continue to thank Almighty Allah for the life, the beautiful life that he has given to our father. Baba, you came into my life at an age when I was still impressionable. You did not know me, but I knew you. And I singled you out in the garden of many men where everybody was showing off the big way, you know, it was a big celebration in Lagos. But there you were, simple, very, very simple. And you were very handsome too. You are still handsome. <laughs> Mama, you have a handsome husband. Then you displayed intellect. You've impacted the lives of so many people. Alhamdulillah. And today, you know, it has shown that it is good to live a good, simple life. Baba Dini, you are our pride in Lagos. Alhamdulillah. I wish to congratulate Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu Oyevar, the Baba Adini of Lagos State, and the Executive Chairman, Board of Trustees, Muslim Community of Lagos for attaining this near real privilege that only very few people get to it. For most people, the initiation fees is just too stiff. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to increase you, Baba, in faith, in health, and may he continue to bless you in this world and also in the world hereafter. He's our father. He's a man that God has really, really blessed. He's a man in his infinite mercy has kept him for us. He's a man that has been endowed with a lot of wisdom, with knowledge, with understanding. He's a man that I respect tremendously because each time you sit with him, his words of wisdom that emanates from him, his words of encouragement that he's always having to pass on to us, and he's a man that has a deep history of the journey of this country, that has deep history of the journey of Lagos State, that has deep, deep, deep history of the Islamic faith in Nigeria. And I want to thank Almighty Allah for his life. Because with the likes of him, people like us will continue to listen and to ensure that we don't walk astray. My prayer for him is that God will continue to give him good health, He's had long life, but God will still spare him a bit more for us so that we'll continue to enrich and tap from his wealth of wisdom and his wealth of knowledge. The giant cake, replica of the Lagos Central Mug, specially caught by the celebrants, flanked by the dignitaries present as the event gradually winded down with the vote of thanks delivered by the chief imam of Lagos, who also did the closing prayer. We thank everybody that has come from far and in that has come from far and near. We pray Almighty Allah to continue to bless you. Amen. We pray Almighty Allah to continue to reward you. Amen. And we pray Almighty Allah to continue to strengthen you too. Amen. We really appreciate today. This is a remarkable day for us that we are celebrating one of our fathers in Lagos. That's the Baba Jinnah. Mashallah. Almighty Allah to continue to sketch. Amen. 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 While the felicitation and photo shoots with the celebrant lasted, the MC crew interacted with guests and family members on their impression about the centenarian. For the first time, 
I'm feeling and seeing in certain areas. I know there are many everywhere, but me as a Lagosian, Moshe Sheri Centenary and Leni, Moshe Nino family, me, Moshe Shefile. And when you move near this Baba, you will just pass for an 80 year old man. I pray to Almighty Allah to continue to grant Baba long life, good health for the rest of his life. It's the grace of Almighty Allah. There were mates of him, young and old, most of them have left. What would he say he has done special to remain? Rather, that is the grace of Almighty Allah. And I pray, I want to be like him. May Allah spare his life a little more so that he can influence the coming generations behind him a little bit more. I want people to learn from him, to borrow from him, so that by the time he goes away, I hope it's not going to be soon, I pray it's not soon, by the time he goes away, his legacies will be, will be firm. I really, really do wish him more years of health and happiness and service to mankind. More years of service yes. to humanity. Yes. Long life, longer life in good health. Baba da dani wo kolon ko ba se won ni pele pele kolon ko ba wa dan mo won si gbo wa ti won kolon ka mo won ko le jeri e ola alquran le azim we pray almighty allah to continue to bless him we pray almighty allah to guide him and he's a legacy for the family we've not been lucky to have a scholar that studied in alaza i wish baba many more years of happiness um i pray the almighty allah we elugate his years, give him more health, more years to spend, and continue to help the needing as before. It is my prayer that uh, he will live longer than this, in good health and happiness. I wish that he will continue to live, to live, to live the community in patience and forbearing. I wish him more years of service to humanity. And I said, Allah has made him to come to Nigeria. It belongs to the whole world. I pray that Almighty Allah should strengthen him, guide his family, and all of us that are surrounding him, and he will continue to prosper. God has done a lot in his life. I am praying that God, if he wants to keep me for a long time, should keep me like the man. I wish him many more healthy years in sound mind and uh, peace of mind as well. I wish him another happy years of life, another few happy years of life. For him to have strength and good health and uh, whatever time he has left to live on earth, for him to be happy always and strength. Congratulations to His Eminence Sheikh Abdulafiz Abu, the Bajini of Lagos. The overwhelmed centenarian expressed his joy thus. My impressions is beyond something that I can just imagine. Eh? I really, I cannot express my joy. Ames Media Team joined others to wish Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu more years ahead in good health and sound mind. Amen.